Hi, I made this animation in Blender with 3D and made a tool to render specific keyframes that I want from the timeline and compile them in post in comp. So let's look at the different frame rate render options. And then at the end of the video, we can compare the different frame rates and decide what works best for the show in terms of frame rates. So this is threes, meaning a render or an image every three frames along the timeline. We are working at 24 frames a second. This is a 15 second shot and it's a hundred frames total. This is fours. Again, that's an image or a render every four frames along the timeline. Everything we're working on is 24 frames per second and this is 75 frames total. Now on fives, an image every five frames on the timeline, 60 frames total. And then this is extremes, which are frames on the timeline that I selected as key moments for the cloth and the hair. The extremes aren't evenly spaced out, but for the 15 seconds, it's 68 frames total. And then this final version, and this is the same uh, as the previous version, extremes, plus an extra frame after each extreme to ease in or out of each key uh, extreme at 129 frames total. And here is a contact sheet for all the frame rate options so you can compare between them or I share my thoughts on them in a moment. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on what you think works the best between options one through five in general or for maybe my project. So threes to me looks a bit too smooth and knowing that it's CG, trying to break the CG illusion it kind of looks mechanical to me. Um, really, if I had to be fair, it looks more like kind of 80s or 90s anime because those guys really um, spend the time and effort into smooth and almost perfect animation, you know, lots of frames. Um, but that's not really the vibe I'm going for. And again, trying to break the illusion of CG, I think it's easier to make it a bit more modern in terms of choppiness and more selective in terms of what frames we expose and render. Then that's option one. So option two, fours, I think is a nice um, compromise. You know, I can still read the motion of the cloth and the hair. It does get a bit more choppy, um, but it feels like an anime I would watch. Um, it doesn't hurt too much. Uh, I do feel maybe it's a bit choppy. And then option three, which is fives, this is where, you know, we don't have enough frames to read all the motion of the cloth and the hair. And we're starting to miss some of that motion or beats of the cloth. Um, and it just feels too choppy, you know, too static. And if you compare options three to, you know, options one and two, it feels slow, right? It feels the shot is a lot slower because we don't read the motion, meaning we don't see the energy of all that cloth and all that hair. So fives just doesn't work for this type of slow moving shot. Um, and then I thought options one and two, maybe they feel a bit mechanical because the frames are evenly distributed, meaning it's a frame every three frames or every four frames. So on option four, I just rendered the, what I called out to be the extremes and they're not evenly distributed on the timeline. So some are two frames apart maybe, and some are 10 frames apart, whatever it may be. And it's 68 frames total. So it's kind of in between options two and three in terms of total frames, but it feels really choppy. Like it doesn't feel like option four. I, I feel like we've lost motion and energy and it just kind of feels static and erratic to me. 
Um, and then the final option five, which is actually my favorite, um, is the same as option four. So it's, you know, those selected extremes that are distributed um, unevenly on the time frame, but each frame gets uh, the frame after rendered as well. So let's just say I was rendering frame three and 10, I would also render frame four and 11. And it looks really smooth, you know, it, everything flows really well. You could read the beats and the, you know, the moments of the hair and the cloth. It still feels a little choppy here and there, giving it that 2D feel but it doesn't feel mechanical and even, you know, like a machine. Um, I really love number five, and I would have loved to have done the shot at number five, but I ended up with option two, which is on fours, because the downside of five is obviously it's 129 frames, right? So, you know, the reason uh, I'm rendering these passes and, you know, working with line art and all that is ultimately it's 2D, you know, I can go in and I can do corrections if I need to. If there's an error with the hair or the arm or whatever it might be, maybe I want to add a smear frame or, um, you know, uh, anything, right? Um, less frames are better. Um, so 75 frames on option two, there was um, some corrections I wanted to do the, to the hair. And instead of going back into Blender and doing that in CG, um, I just did that by hand. It was just quicker just to go in and, and fix that and do that in 2D. Um, and that might, I didn't time myself, maybe it took you know, anything between 30 minutes to an hour. Um, but had I had done that with option five, it might've been two hours, right? And two hours isn't bad for one shot, but there's hundreds of shots that will come eventually. And on top of that, maybe it wasn't just one piece of hair that I had to fix. Maybe there was corrections on the arm and, you know, on whatever. Um, there's going to be shots where there's a lot of manual fixing. So I think option two, which is four frames a second, is a nice type of compromise for this type of shot where there's a lot of motion, it's very slow in terms of movement. Um, but in the future, you know, if there's a hero shot on the project where I know that it's worth investing the time or people will watch this and it'll get lots of views or it really matters to the story, that's where I'll switch to extremes plus one frame um, at the higher frame rate. Or maybe in the future, you know, there's people who are helping me, helping me on the project, um, you know, or joining the project, and that gives me some wiggle room to go for that higher frame rate. Um, but I, for now, in terms of my project, I'm calling option five kind of movie quality, uh, and option two more standard or television quality. Um, and I'll probably switch between the, those two options. Um, it really depends on the type of shot. But I think in terms of this slow kind of walking pace shot, it was a great exercise. And I hope you, you know, he learned something and enjoyed this video. Um, and I would love to hear your comments on what you thought was the best. And uh, yeah, in the coming weeks, I'm going to share more for Project Shrine. So I'll talk about it in, uh, in the future video and I'll share more teasers and clips from it. Um, and yeah, so thanks again and catch you on the next one and do all that, you know, follow me and at this and whatever and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.